All right, welcome back on this Black Friday. Also, one of those days that we talked about a lot of things people yeah. are outside doing. Maybe a lot of people getting mm -hmm. the old Christmas lights up, if you haven't done that yet. Traveling, yeah. still a lot of travel. People are headed a home people, or yeah. on to the next family function, mm -hmm. all those things. Hopefully, the weather's cooperating. And if they're traveling right now, it is preferred over traveling on Sunday, Jason, yeah. because we have wintry weather on the way. Looking pretty good in Detroit right now. That view comes from Windsor. Temperature, though, a little cool. We're 35 degrees. We've made progress with the sun being high in the sky. Now we have temperatures that will be getting up a couple of more degrees in the city and some surrounding areas still trying to make their way closer to that number. So we have 29 degrees right now in Lapeer, 29 in Sandusky. Some of that cold air still out there. And those are some of the places that we could see a couple of flurries right now. There are some lake effects snow that's happening in a few spots, especially off of Lake Michigan. Now I want to show you what the wind chill value is right now in Sandusky 19. That's what it feels like to your skin that is exposed 20 in Lapeer for the wind chill. So across the area, what we're seeing really cold air to our north and to our west. Some places still holding on to teens as you get into the Dakotas with the actual air temperature warmer down toward the south. So this is what we're seeing because of that wind. Also a small craft advisory going until four o'clock this afternoon. That is for the near shore waters of Sanilac County in also places such as Huron County as you go up toward the thumb. Those are the places that are pretty much going to see some of those gustier winds as well. You see right there 12 miles per hour in Sandusky for those uh, sustained winds. Also, we're seeing 14 miles per hour in Pontiac for sustained winds and a couple of gusts a little bit higher. So a Zach track 40 radar showing that we do have some areas where flurries are trying to pick up across the thumb. Port Huron, we could see a couple of flurries in our area. As we zoom on in, you can see them around Lakeport popping up on radar in Richmond and Memphis. So as we are traveling up toward the north as well, maybe you're going up on I-75, we're going to encounter some of that more persistent snowfall as we go into places such as Gaylord, Roscom, and Houghton Lake, and areas just to the east of Traverse City. So over the next couple of days, this system is going to be a big issue for us over the Great Lakes. It is coming in our direction, and this is what it's going to look like on Sunday. We have that swath right here, snow and cold air atop of us. So coming back to live conditions, clouds and radar showing that we have, of course, the lake effects of snow here in Michigan. That's the system out to our west. Otherwise, the rest of Metro Detroit looking mostly sunny. Temperatures getting up to about 37 degrees for our high. It's going to be cool later on tonight, dropping back down into the 20s. For tomorrow, the clouds start developing overnight. We have mostly cloudy conditions for Saturday. The rain and snow coming on Sunday, possibly seeing as much as a half inch at a max about an inch of snowfall out of that on Sunday and then a few snow showers lingering on Monday. Some flurries left over for Tuesday and those temperatures are rather comparable seeing them in the mid to upper 30s. Those lows in the 20 will see some really cool air below normal Jason.